That's right, it's the Battle of the Games where 12 epic games battle it out for the number one spot. There are 12 amazing games, but there can only be one winner. So stay tuned, <laughs> find out who it's gonna be. Obviously, this year isn't over yet, so consider this like a prelim to the Some Kind of Gaming Awards that we're gonna do <gasps> later on in the year. Ooh, I'm really excited for that. Mm. With all that said, let's get into it. Let's so, rank our first game. So I think we all know what's gonna happen here. We're starting off with the GOAT. Tears of the Kingdom is my favorite game of all time. Uh, Laura might be slipping on the couch tonight. She thinks that's funny. It's not funny. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, nah, man. Terrible joke. Come on. Bad joke. <laughs> no, it's clearly an S tier game. You know, we've actually gotten uh, some hate for how much we love this game, but it doesn't make it make us love it any less, does it? No, it really is a phenomenal game. Mm -hmm. Pushes the switch to its limits. I was going to put an SS tier in. Just for Zelda. Just for Zelda, <laughs> because it will beat out every single other game on this list. Yes, that is guaranteed. Sorry if you don't like it, but I'm also not. Sorry, not sorry. The second one is actually, it might shock some of you guys. Mm -hmm. So, we tried so hard to love Baldur's Gate 3. Man, we did, but it just it just didn't work for us, like performance wise, right? So we were trying to play it on stream, multiplayer with two controllers, and it wouldn't let us use the controllers, basically. They were like drifting all over the screen. They were cutting in and out, so we constantly had to reconnect them to the computer. The controller support is trash, is what Laura's trying yeah. to say. It and was crashing. At least in co-op mode. Yeah, well, that's the thing. It crashed quite often. Um, so, oh, yeah, my controller just disconnected. And then it crashed. How good is that? Nice one, Baldur's Gate, you piece of crap. It looks amazing. Uh -huh. It doesn't drop any frames. But the controller support really made us notice those like little things that might not have annoyed us. Yeah, I know. In yeah. another world. Things like the game being a little slow, being a bit directionless. Mm -hmm. And all that put together means that we just didn't have the time we expected with Baldur's Gate 3 because we freaking love RPGs. I was actually really, really surprised, but... I really, really tried to we love tried this game. Hard. We played for over 15 hours mm -hmm. and it just never clicked. No. What would you give it? Well, I think I'm going to give it a B. I would give it a C. Yeah, see, the thing that's preventing me from wanting to put it in C is because I know that so many people didn't have the same experience that we had. But then it's our list, isn't it's it? It's our list, it's our We can't judge it on other people's, man. Put it in C. All oh, right. Yeah. Screw it. I'm sorry. Don't come for us. Or do. Come for us. I don't care. <laughs> Fight me. <laughs> We're allowed to not like things, dude. Fight us now, man. <laughs> yeah, it can't be <laughs> Look anywhere. at that. People are going to be upset about <laughs> that. Straight off the bat. <laughs> Detective Pikachu returns. Oh, dude, that's way better than Baldur's Gate. Sorry, I lied before. It's better than Tears of the Kingdom 2. <laughs> I don't mind Detective Pikachu returns. You know, I'm actually having a really nice, relaxing time with it. It is a kid's game. It's very simple, but it doesn't make it not enjoyable for me. I still... I could see some people liking it, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to everyone. The only people that are going to like it are going to be like seven, right? I don't think so. I can see a lot of people in the cozy game community enjoying Detective Pikachu. There's not like a whole bunch of effort put into the game. It mm -hmm. feels like it's very unpolished. Yeah, the graphics are not where it's at. <laughs> Honestly, it's a bit disappointing. It looks like a... DS game, which apparently it is, but mm. I thought that they would be able to kind of give it a bit of polish to bring it up to tear with all of the other amazing games that are coming out this year, but no, still not a terrible game though. So it gets a D? It gets a D. Next up, Fire Emblem Engage. 
You can stick this in the seat here, Laura. I can straight stick up. it in the seat stick here. Stick it straight in there. Love three houses. We actually have done another ranking video which three houses was a part of, and that Love got an three S. Houses. Fire Emblem Engage is just not it. Again, we got a lot of hate for not liking it. Fire Emblem fans are passionate about their Fire Emblem. That is true. But sorry, guys, this is just not a very good game in the franchise. Super linear. The story is boring. The visuals are okay. The music is okay. The battle system is good, but I mean, the battle system's always good in Fire Emblem, so. Mm. It's really like fan service, really, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm. And it kind of ends there. Yes, exactly. Okay. All right. We might get a little bit of hate for this one as well, but just. I feel like we've said that every time so far. I know. Don't come for us. opinions, apparently. Yeah, don't come for us, but I love Hogwarts Legacy. It is a fantastic game. It's a brilliant game. It's super inclusive. Like every person you meet has like a different background. Every professor is from a different country. There's, you know, this trans woman. We're not gonna get into she who will not be named. We just really enjoyed the game. I grew up with Harry Potter. It was like there as soon as I was able to read and then like the final movie came out like around my 18th birthday. So it was kind of like a metaphor for me or something. It was always there throughout my childhood. So it is always going to have a special place in my heart and I unapologetically love Hogwarts Legacy. So I think it gets an A. Oh, that's lower than I thought you'd give it. I thought you were going to give it an S. Well, Oh, maybe I should give it an S. A yeah. it is. No, I'm giving it an S. Okay. Okay. Because I think that it really could be game of the year for me anyway. Like I was obsessed with this game when it came out and I work from home and Hogwarts Legacy was the only game where I really struggled to get my work done and not stop working and just play. We do maybe need like an SS tier for Tears of the Kingdom. I know. Right? Yeah. I, so that's I, what made me put it in A, but it is an S tier game for me, yeah. It is an S tier. Yeah, it is an S tier game for me. Yeah. Yeah, but it, we need it we need a double S. Like a like a heavens or something, like the bar is like too high for anything else to ever reach. Yeah, that's tears of the King. kingdom, I agree. So you may have noticed this shameless self-plug section at the bottom here. That's what we're about to do. Because you may notice that Super Mario Wonder has not released yet. So mm. why why is it in this list, Laura? Wow, wow, wow. Because we are going to play it early at PAX. We will be at PAX Oz as you are likely watching this video, playing a preview of Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And of course, we're going to do a video on it next week. Exactly. So Super Mario Bros. Wonder is going in the shameless self-plug section. Why don't you hit the subscribe button if you want to hear a little bit about Sneak Wonder Peek before it comes out, eh? Want a sneak peek? Mm -hmm. Up to you, but I would. Well, on the topic of shameless self promos, this next game is another one of them because it's almost Halloween every October on our Twitch channel twitch.tv slash some kind of gaming we always spend october playing scary games resident evil is usually pretty scary i know that four is like more of an actiony one rather than like village and biohazard which we played last mm, yeah that was some good times <laughs> so yeah we haven't actually played re4 remake yet but we're going to mm -hmm. next week so come along into our twitch chat and ask us where we think it ranks because yeah. we will be able to tell you in maybe a couple weeks time when we've finished it. All right, the next one. I think it's an S2. Chuck it in. Yeah, what do you think? Final Fantasy 16. I'm playing through this right now. Actually, Laura got first dibs on it when it came out and I unapologetically adore it. It's so good. It's so good. The it, story is so good. The, I really like the combat. Me too. Me too. It looks beautiful and Clive is hot. I agree. Right? As a very straight man, oh Clive is sexy. But 
I'm kind of a Sid simp myself. No, I'm a closer. Can we go with uh, sexy Sid? He's got he's more experienced. One time at a you know party, I mean? <laughs> more experienced. Well, well that's true. He does have more experience. Hmm. Yeah. At a party a couple of weeks ago, Tom's brother asked me who my celebrity crush was, and I said Clive from Final Fantasy. He so had no idea who she was talking about, but that's okay. <laughs> now I am gonna just skip to Octopath Traveler Two and quickly chuck that in S because we just said we love the combat from Final Fantasy 16. Yeah. So some of you might be thinking, oh, they hate turn-based combat. No, I do not. Octopath Traveler 2 is some of the best combat I've ever experienced in a game and it is 100% turn-based. Mm. I just, I can't gush about Octopath Traveler 2 enough. We've got two videos on a channel of us doing that, yeah. just gushing about it. So go check those out if you're interested. But here, all I'm gonna say is that if I had to order this section, it would go here 100% easily better than Hogwarts and Final Fantasy 16. Okay. In my humble opinion. Yeah. One of my favorite games possibly of all time. I just adore it. Pixel art is beautiful. Story is beautiful. Gameplay is fantastic. Just get on, get on this little gem if you haven't already. All time, possibly. All wow. Time. That is a good. That's a good review. Yeah, it is. You might be wondering why there are two copies of Mortal Kombat down here, and if well, if you are wondering, it means that you didn't watch last week's video, so yeah. maybe you should. <laughs> and what happened? <laughs> what one should we do first? Is this one PS Five? Do you want to tell them why there's two copies? <laughs> Well, you're gonna have to check next last week's video. Oh, all right, because that's okay. a bit shit. Okay, don't okay. make people do that. No one's gonna. I wouldn't do that. Okay, unsubscribe. <laughs> I'm not watching your last video. Bloody all right, hell. there's two copies because one came out on the PS5 and one came out on the Switch, and they are both vastly different experiences. Mm -hmm. Thusly, they will be placed in different places on the category machine. Let's do the PS5 one first. Or how about we place them and then you guys guess? Oh, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, it is. I, I agree. I agree. It's a great game. F. Yep. <laughs> F was the switch. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty big uh, difference there in terms of the old Mortal Kombat qualities. But yeah, great game. Beautiful visuals. Looks incredible. Runs super well. One of the best running games of this year, actually. Hmm. All yeah. but if you play on the PS5 one. Basically the complete opposite if you play on the Switch. Yes, correct. The last dandelion. Melon? Melon? Dandelion? Oh, it's the last. The last, the last dandelion, dandelion of the season. season. Must be the last one of the season. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my bad. Frank didn't. <laughs> Uh, Starfield. It definitely gets an A. I really, really like Starfield. I think it's a great game. I know that you can't like, well, you can actually fly to another planet. It's just very underwhelming and like, why would you want to? And then you clip straight through it anyway. Yeah, but that doesn't, it doesn't hamper the experience for me. It's a great game. There's like hundreds of hours of things to do. I really like the story as well. And I really like the new game plus thing. How it's just like infinite new game pluses. Mm, mm. And cool. sometimes you might meet different people. It's good. It's good. I really like Starfield. Well, now that they're all put in place, is there any that you would like to move around? Uh, I think. No, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. If I, I mean. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. That's good. Yeah. It's a good one. I think it's good. Mm. Obviously. There are some games we're missing here. Yeah. You might be asking yourself, where the hell is Diablo 4? Or did you guys not even play the Dead Space remake? The answer I mean, is no, we didn't. Yeah, we, yeah, didn't we didn't play that. either of those <laughs> things. We just didn't play Sea of Stars and a bunch of other really amazing games that we would have loved to. But there's just not enough time in the day. I wish we had enough time to play every single game that was released this year. Mm -hmm. But as we said, 2023 has been a great year for gaming. And, uh... It's hard to keep up. It is. Actually. Unfortunately, we don't play games for a living. Mm, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? One day, but not today. Why don't you help us on that dream, though? And subscribe down below. Maybe give the video a like. 
Yeah, give it a thumbs down if you don't like it. If that's you want, fine too. yeah, go for it. Let us know where you will rank Resident Evil 4 and Super Mario Brothers Wonder when it releases. Mm. Let us know if you have any difference of opinions to us because, um, you know, that's kind of part of the human experience, isn't it? Well, yep, opinions. We all have them. Mm, exactly. What is it? They're like buttholes. But, yeah. I was thinking of like a nice way to say that. Buttholes is good because butt's not a swear word. No, and everyone has one. Everyone's got one. So why would we be ashamed of them? You shouldn't be. No, don't be ashamed of your buttholes, people. Embrace them. What a way to end the video. <laughs> See you next week for the Super Mario Bros. Wonder video. Bye. <laughs> Go ahead, dig in.